everybody, welcome back to Daily Easy English Expression. Ahem, <clears throat> it's Monday. Monday. Do you like Mondays? Me, I actually don't mind. I do enjoy my Mondays. Mondays are busy, but not super busy. For me, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, ooh, yeah, those are my busy days. So I love Sunday. Uh, Monday's not too bad. Monday's not too bad. Monday's email day. Okay, uh, so today is a, <laughs> we have a comparison actually today, a question. Slim versus skinny. Mm, it's a good question, good question. Uh, so basically the opposite of fat is skinny. If somebody's fat, blah. If somebody's skinny, okay. So, is saying fat, is that actually nice? No. If you say fat, it actually has some negative feel to it. And the same with skinny. If you say skinny, it also has a negative feel to it. So, if you tell a guy that he's skinny or a girl that he's skinny, they only got bones, no muscle, just bones. Like a walking skeleton. And it's not healthy. Being skinny uh, is probably not the best for health. Now, it may be better than being too big, but being too small, your body needs nutrients. So being slim is good. Being slim is good. That means you're not fat, you're not obese. In fact, you look very thin, but healthy. Skinny, all the way to the bone. Yeah, it's really, it's not attractive. Slim, very nice, very nice. So tell me, are you slim or skinny? Are you fat or healthy? In this case, healthy would be between slim and fat. Healthy. <laughs> sure. Okay, check out the dialogue. John, you need to gain some weight. Why? I'm slim, just right. I can see your backbone from the front. <gasps> Am I that skinny? <laughs> what? So, so you're looking at John from the front, you see him from the front, but you can see his backbone? <laughs> wow, that's really skinny. Yeah, some people are just too skinny. You can see their bones and, you know, there are some people with, with muscles and you can see their veins, right? They're, they got big muscles and their veins pop out. But some people, are, when they're really skinny, you can see their muscles, uh, their, 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 their bones and their veins and, oh, it, it doesn't look that good. Yeah, being too skinny, not a good thing. Slim. That's what's good. Being slim is good. So me, what am I? Um, I used to be skinny. When I was in high school and in college, I was skinny. But I was a runner and a cyclist. So I really burned up so many calories. So I, I was pretty skinny. Um, and then in my 20s and 30s, I became slim. Yeah, it was, it was okay. And now in my 40s, I'm getting healthy. And now in my late 40s, um, yeah, I'm starting to get a little too healthy. Yeah, I'm not yet fat. I hope I don't get there. I do exercise. I need to exercise more. But yeah, I used to be skinny. Then I was slim. I want to go back to being slim. Right now, from a distance, I look slim. But up close... Yeah, um, I've got uh, spare tires. I do. Yeah. If you have, a, if you're driving down the road and your tire loses air, I have a tire for you. I always carry one with me. All right, lots of English today, but we're focused on slim and skinny. So what are you or what were you? Yeah. And some people want to be skinny. No, don't be skinny. Be slim. Being slim is great. It's not easy, especially when we get older. But uh, yeah, skinny, 
not so good. The opposite of skinny, fat, not so good. Being skinny, being fat, not good. Slim, good. Healthy, normal, <laughs> I think, right? <laughs> okay, two great words. Two great words. Make sure that you know them. And uh, yeah, I'll be back again tomorrow. Don't forget, get my lesson. This is a great week. Right now, in 2017, when you guys are watching this video, my students and I are having what we call a week in review. A week in review. So every DDM, every perf, every Action English student uh, has the ability to join me in live classes, questions and answers. They can ask questions about anything, any of their lessons. So right now it's a great week. And actually, next week, April 2017, we start fresh again. So this is an excellent time to join DDM or PERF. And if you're interested in Action English, that's only for advanced level speaking students, very high level speaking students, let me know. For everybody else, intermediate, not beginner, sorry, sorry, not beginner, intermediate and advanced level English. If you want to work on your speaking, PERF is the great class for you. Okay, it teaches the natural style that Americans use. If you want to improve your listening and comprehension, DDM is the class for you. So I would love it if you uh, signed up for the classes. And uh, yeah, uh, maybe I'll give a, a discount. Uh, yeah, if you're interested in DDM Live, then uh, send me an email. Uh, DDM at letsmasterenglish.com. DDM at letsmasterenglish.com. And say, Shane, Coach Shane, give me a discount and we'll do a three month special, a three month membership special price. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Only during this week. And this is uh, the end of March 2017. All right. Once April starts, done. Is that right? Yeah, something like that. Maybe April 1st, April 2nd, something. Anyway, uh, that's it. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. John, you need to gain some weight. Why? I'm slim. Just right. I can see your backbone from the front. <gasps> Am I that skinny? John, you need to gain some weight. Why? I'm slim. Just right. I can see your backbone from the front. <gasps> Am I that skinny? John, you need to gain some weight. Why? I'm slim. Just right. I can see your backbone from the front. <gasps> Am I that skinny?